plié to your back leg, back leg down. And my name is Lisbeth Lutz. The same in reverse. Three times, two and three, two and three, two and three. And raise your arm and up. You don't become a dancer in three weeks. You become a dancer very slowly. It grows. It grows along with the person. That's why dancers need to start so young. Because dance is a very broad field and you may have more of a natural ability for one thing than another. But you need to have a talent for dance if you want to get in. And point to the side. Extend second position and point and close. Do you feel it? Move this along. And to the back. Don't sag. And yes, that's better. In my opinion, a good dancer needs, first of all, a good physique. There's no other option because that's what you work and express yourself with. But a good artistic quality needs to be included in that. A good dancer needs to be inventive, needs to be creative, and you need a good dose of empathy for that and self-reflection. But that isn't any different from an actor, because you're just using a different medium. I'm in the first, détonné, demi-plié, tendu to the side, Good. Patience, perseverance, resilience. Because a dancer grows from the criticism they receive. And it will be quite a lot. And while some people may be mild in their expression, others will very bluntly tell you something's incorrect. You need to be able to take that criticism because it will help you improve. Lengthen your back. Stay. Prettily crooked isn't ugly. Double. Susu. Detonate and leg out. The nice thing about the dance world nowadays is that individuality is valued. They don't have to all be the same anymore. It's exactly what is characteristic of one dancer that makes them that person as a dancer. That's what people are looking for.